Hey guys and girls, how are you doing? It's Michael from Recover It, the ultimate expert to provide professional data recovery solutions. Today, I've experienced something really scary. Pouring on the computer and my D drive was missing. That's a lot of stuff on the D drive, so today we're going to talk about how to recover a missing local drive on Windows. Okay, let's get started and as usual we are going to follow this logic. I'm going to explain to you why such a thing could happen and then we're going to focus on the possible solutions in order to bring things back to normal. And if you're a fan of such kind of practical and easy to follow data tutorials, especially when it comes to recovering data, please subscribe to our channel because there's a lot more coming. Now, focusing on this particular situation, you go to my computer or this PC, and that depends on your Windows version, and all of a sudden you figure out, oh my gosh, my logical drive is missing. Truth is that there are a number of events which could lead to such an occurrence, very commonly. Could be a software update, it could be uh, the Microsoft Windows update or another third-party software update which could lead to the situation. It could be a power outage contributing to such a problem, or very commonly, when you add new storage to your computer, it gets a new letter assigned. This is a really good moment for such a mix-up to happen, and very commonly, the drive could disappear in case of harder trouble or in case you have accidentally deleted it or formatted it. So, how to recover and how to guarantee that there would be no further missing files when we do the recovery? Let's talk about all of that. Now, when it comes to such unpleasant situations, there are two very important things to follow. You know, to make the research and the troubleshooting based on common sense and to not panic. While the latter one is kind of mission impossible because when important files are at stake, it's, it's very, very challenging to remain quiet and keep it cool. I think the first part, following the common sense, should easily lead us to the first possible solution, and that would be to rescan the drives. Now, in order to do so, press the Windows key plus the X button, then navigate to Disk Management from the list. This is going to open the Disk Management window. Here, we click on Action at the top menu and choose Rescan Disk. And essentially, that's it. Your system is going to scan all the available drives and give you a list with the potentially missing drives. Well, hopefully, so far we got the solution. If not, let us go for solution number two. System Restore. A very powerful solution if you haven't disabled it in order to save some space. So, Windows as an operating system would automatically create restore points from time to time and you could easily roll back to any of those. Let us take a look at how this works. From the control panel, navigate to System, choose Advanced System Settings and navigate to System Protection. Over there you're going to find the System Restore button. Choose a restore point from the list and make sure to pick a date when you're absolutely certain that this missing drive letter was still available and well working. And then go ahead and proceed with the restoration process. It's going to take some time and then it's a good idea to reboot the system after that. And hopefully your D drive is already visible. Did that work? Let me know in the comments below. Well, if the previous solution didn't work, there's another possibility. Sometimes softwares with a lot of privileges decide to hide some of the dry letters in order to increase the security or sometimes just a mess up happens. So in this situation, we're going to go to Windows Local Group Policy Editor and do some changes. Go to the Start menu, hit Run and type gpedit.msc. Now, go ahead, select User Configuration, Administrative Templates, Windows Components, File Explorer. Make sure to highlight the File Explorer option and then double tap the Hide these specified drives in my computer option on the right side of the screen. Over here, choose Disabled in order to unhide all the partitions, then click OK to complete the process. If you keep on following us, none of the solutions so far has worked, don't worry, because we have two more other possibilities. Let's go ahead and try with the driver update. And over here, what we need to see is in Device Manager to have the drive present. So what we are going to do is again to press the Windows and X button, go ahead and select Device Manager from the list, expand the Disk Drives option and right-click on the internal or external hard drive that we want to update and then hit the Update Driver option. 
Follow the instructions on the screen and select Search for the drivers automatically, which is going to let Windows check up online whether there are some updates about this particular drive. Drivers are very often a solution which can magically cure a number of situations, so I really hope that was your solution. But if it wasn't, let us do something more advanced and dig a bit more in the disk management utility. In order to do so, we again have to navigate to disk management. Now, we very carefully check the list with the physical drives which are present. Because very likely, our drive is going to be there, it's just not going to have any drive letter assigned. Once we are absolutely certain which is the partition that we want to manipulate, we go ahead and we select it, we right click on that and we select Change Drive Letter and Paths. In the next screen, we use the drop down menu in order to assign a letter to the missing drive, click OK in order to save the changes and voila, your missing drive just came back. So this is how you could restore the missing D drive on your Windows or any other partition letter that is missing from your system. And in case you notice that there are some files missing, we very much and strongly recommend you to download Wondershare Recover It because that's the easiest way in three simple steps to recover all your missing data. And you can check some of our other video tutorials about how to use the software. For any questions, as usual, will be available for you in the comment section below the video and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more practical data solutions. My name is Michael, wish you a fantastic day and hope to see you soon. Bye!